Hello there, you're watching Dansky, the place to be to develop your creative skills and grow as a designer. In this tutorial, we're going to be learning how to create a gold effect in Adobe Illustrator. So to start with, I've got my new document and I've got my shape here, a diamond. This is a diamond icon and yours could be an icon, a shape, text, whatever you like. That's absolutely fine. So first of all, we're just going to click this double arrow to expand our panels. I find it's a lot easier having the swatches and the gradient slider visible at the same time in this view. So first of all, we're going to want to create the four swatches that we'll be using in our gold effect. So if I just double click these, and then you can see from the drop down, if you select RGB, make sure that these are selected as a global swatch. And you can see here the values for the different swatches if you want to follow along with this tutorial. So there we go, this is the one that's a little more yellow. Those are the values. Here is the lighter of our four shades. So those are the values for that. And then we have a darker brown and here are the RGB color values for that last swatch. So first of all, select your shape, your lettering, your icon. And let's just reset this gradient slider back to default. So typically new documents will start with a default black to white gradient. So the first thing to do is we're going to drag the darkest of our four swatches, the brown color, onto that left swatch there in the gradient slider. And we're going to do the same on the right. So drag that onto the swatch on the right. And then we're going to drag the lightest of our four swatches right into the middle. So just drag that down to the gradient slider and let go. If you want to remove a color from your gradient slider, just left click on the swatch and drag down and you'll see that it is removed. You can also select a swatch on the gradient slider and specify a specific location. So if I type in 50%, it will position that gradient exactly in the middle. So next we're going to select our more yellow swatch and just drag that onto the slider as well. We're going to position this to the left of our middle swatch, quite close to it as well. And we can drag this again to the right side just position that nice and close. We, re we really want this, this lighter swatch in the center. That's going to work as a highlight. So we really want that to be very, very narrow and not too far spread across the gold effect as a whole. So the last one to add is the more mid gold. That's the first swatch that we looked at. And we're going to drag that and position it somewhere around here in between our darkest swatch and the yellow swatch. And we'll do the same again on the other side. And there we go, we've created our gold effect. Now you can adjust all of the positions of these. You can create highlights and shadows in different places as you like. And you can even select this and specify an angle if you want the gradient to run in a specific direction. Although I think for this tutorial, I'm going to keep it running from left to right horizontally. So now lastly, let's just add a background so you can really see how this gold effect stands out against a darker color. So select the rectangle tool and in the top left corner of your artboard, just left click and drag to the bottom right corner. Wow, that is a lot of gold. Go up to Object, Arrange and Center Back, and then just select or create a darker swatch. I'll just double click this so you can see the color values for this. And then we can go to Object, Lock, Selection with the background selected. And there we go. That's how we can create a gold effect in Adobe Illustrator. As always guys, please feel free to leave any questions or comments below. Like this video if you enjoyed it. Take care and I'll see you next time.